Hey guys, what's up? Two Wheel Turban. I recently turned 21 and with that, uh, the government allows you to purchase a handgun and the opportunity to carry. So I'm kind of mixing two of my favorite hobbies, uh, motorcycles and guns. And today's video is going to be talking about how when you go to ride your motorcycle, your Goldwing, your sport bike, whatever it is, I'm going to teach you some tips and tricks on how to carry while doing so. So let's jump into the video. Alright, so you may be wondering, when you go to ride your motorcycle, why in the world would you ever want to carry? You're like, you know, I'm just going out to ride, I'm not going to need a gun, why would I need a gun? Well, believe it or not, you know, robberies, all these crazy assaults and stuff can happen at any time, so it's always best to be prepared. And even if the gun isn't on your person, we're going to be talking about a few different ways that you can have the gun somewhere close by, just in case something happens. So the first carry position we're going to talk about is appendix carry. It's pretty common right now. This is inside the waistband. Um, it's kind of just near your appendix, but we're going to test it out how it is on the bike with comfort. So when you get on the bike, here's how appendix carry looks like this. And I find sometimes appendix carry may not be the best for everyone, especially if you're carrying something bigger. This is just a Springfield Hellcat. It's a pretty small subcompact. But if you're getting up into a Glock 19 or full size guns, this may not be your best option because whenever you get into that sitting position, the gun can kind of dig into you. But it's definitely one carry option that you can try. And um, in the next clip, we're gonna be talking about the next carry position and see how it is. Okay, so the next one is uh, just hip carry. A lot of people do this. For me, since I'm a left hand draw, this is my nine o'clock position. But if you're a right hand draw, it'd be your three o'clock. Um, with this one, personally, I have kind of a difficulty. It's, it's kind of, it's not that comfortable for me because my hip bone is digging into it. But let's jump on the bike and see kind of what it feels like. So I'm gonna jump on and we'll see what it's like sitting on the bike. Yeah, that really digs into me. <laughs> Okay, so on, okay, I have to admit, when you sit down and you're on the bike, that um, that hip carry where it's just kind of directly right here, I think it's a lot more comfortable than appendix because it's not really pinching anywhere or going anywhere around here. So I can see where when you're riding, that would be really good and you have quick access to draw. So that's another big plus with appendix. It is nice, it's right here so you can draw pretty quick, but just right here, I don't know, that feels a little bit more natural. You can just run up your leg get to where you need to be um but the next we'll talk about the very next one for on your person and then we'll talk about some that where you kind of can put on your bike and still have quick access but yeah let's jump into the next clip all right the last carry position that i would recommend this one's really comfortable when you're walking around uh compared to the appendix the hip i really like this small of the back it's not directly you know uh behind you i would say for left hand carry Let's see, that's probably about seven o'clock, somewhere around there, nine's here. I don't know, somewhere in this range, that feels really good, I have to admit, for walking around and stuff. But the true question is, is what's it gonna be like on this cold wing? So let's sit down, see if that becomes obtrusive, and if you could ride like that. So, going to sit down. I feel it a little bit on this back passenger part. You can kind of see where, you know, it could be impacting a little bit but I don't feel any pinching or anything like that. I'm sure you can move it up just a little bit, you know, a little bit more up on the clock. Um, that, that feels pretty good. The only thing with that is you might, compared to appendix and hip, being able to draw might be a little bit tougher, but you can definitely still do it. Just lean forward, you can make your draw. Um, yeah, so those are the three main carry positions I would recommend, appendix, hip, and kind of the small of the back area. I think personally, I really like this and maybe appendix if you have a pretty small subcompact. Anything bigger, you might run into some problems. But let's talk about some other options that you have instead of carrying directly on your person. All right, so you guys see me here on the Goldwing. And you know, all of you guys might not have a big touring bike to ride. Like me personally, I have my R6 and there's not as much storage options compared to a big touring bike like this. So with a bike like this, just to show to our potential Goldwing owners, if you had a small enough gun, like this little Hellcat, let's see, I think it would fit just fine right there. That would be a really nice place. No one would ever know it's on you, and you get to retain all the dexterity and flexibility without discomfort while riding. So I see that's a big plus, and whenever you need it, you still have quick access to your gun. I would recommend keeping it in a holster of some sort so we can protect that trigger guard. Um, but on a Goldwing, that's a great place. I would say for any other bike where you don't have storage like that, get yourself a little soft tank bag. 
You can get magnetic ones you just throw on there and you can throw your gun in there, other stuff, and you still have quick access. And the main thing is when you want to ride, you know, it's something that's really enjoyable and to have a gun digging in your side, maybe a better option to have something that's not directly on you. I can definitely see where that'd be great. All right, another potential spot in this Goldwing, if you had a really small subcompact, I mean, you'd have to have like a small little 380 or 22, but this is kind of a cool spot. It's a really hidden compartment. I feel like not a lot of people know about. I'm sure you could slide in something really small there. That would be a pretty good spot. I don't think anyone would really suspect that you could, that's a storage option like this. Um, I really like this on the Goldwing. And, you know, I've recently started to uh, get into this whole carry scene and into the handgun scene with inside the waistband, all the different holster options. I'd really like to know what you guys think. If you've been riding for a while and choose to carry, let me know what you guys think is the best carry position. And if you haven't, try out a few of these positions if you have a handgun and you have the license to do so. I think it's something smart to do. You know, with this day and age, a lot of crazy things can happen out of the blue. And it's always best to, uh, you know, have the tool on you compared to being stuck there without it. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, found something that might have been informative to you, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. See ya.